A Solana program is the foundation to building on Solana, but what exactly is it? A Solana program is like a smart contract. It's code deployed on chain that can be called by users, other programs, or external applications. My favorite way of explaining this is with a real world analogy. So think of using a vending machine. You put in a dollar, you press a button, and then the vending machine dispenses a drink. Well, this is how Solana programs work. There's four key features to Solana programs. You have no intermediaries, predefined rules, automated execution, and a trustless interaction. So just like a vending machine removes the need for a cashier, a smart contract removes the need for intermediaries, like banks, brokers, or centralized authorities. Now, let's get a bit more technical. So programs, they're immutable after deployment, meaning they can't be changed unless an upgrade authority is retained. Programs also only execute when they're called. They're passive code living on the blockchain, waiting for an instruction. And programs don't store data inside themselves. They operate on external accounts passed to them. So let's go over what that means a little bit more in detail. You have the Solana blockchain. And then Solana programs are deployed on top of the blockchain. So you have a Solana program here. Now, for it to get on the blockchain, um, you usually have a file of code, um, typically Rust code in our case, and it's compiled to eBPF. And once it's compiled, you can then deploy it on chain. So we have some compiled code that's then deployed and lives on chain. Okay. However, Solana programs aren't stateless that we just talked about. Um, no data lives inside the program itself. So how is stuff actually happening? Um, all you have here is a program that lives on top of the blockchain. And this program consists of a bunch of instructions. So when I have an instruction, Typically, that instruction is manipulating data in some way, whether it's a token balance in an account or saving specific information for a user. So how do I do that? Um, well, the instruction within the program interacts with accounts. So you have accounts that live on Solana. And accounts are what hold data. So Solana programs are actually interacting with these accounts to be able to manipulate and modify data. Um, so the accounts live on the Solana blockchain. Solana programs are also deployed on the Solana blockchain. Solana programs consist of a bunch of instructions and each instruction has specific logic based on that instruction. And those instructions interact with accounts to be able to modify data. Now you know what Solana programs are. And you can check out the next video, which is on accounts to dive deeper into how data is handled and stored on Solana and what accounts really are.